Just a reminder, the life you want is on the other side of your comfort zone. So if you want to change your life, you've got to get comfortable with being uncomfortable. We made it to 2024. How amazing is that? God, we thank you. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your support. We thank you for your guidance. We thank you for bringing us this far. We thank you for keeping us out of harm's way. We thank you for good health. We thank you for our loved ones. We thank you for you and all that you do. Continue to be the foundation that we stand on and continue to carry us into another year. Girl, no matter what you're going through right now, just take a moment to acknowledge how blessed you are. You made it to 2024. I mean, so many people did not get the chance. So many people did not get the opportunity to see this year. And here we are, another year. God has blessed us. God has protected us. He's watched over us and he's carried us to 2024. This year is going to be one of our best years yet. It is time to change our lives. It is time to glow up. It is time to become the best versions of ourselves. Change your mindset. How do you change your life in 2024? How do you become the best version of yourself? Is deciding that you want to. The moment you decide that you want to elevate, the moment you decide that you want to become a better version of yourself, the moment you decide that you no longer want to tolerate mess, everything changes. Stop making excuses because life is hard. Let's start there, okay? Life is hard. Life will be hard today, life is going to be hard tomorrow. This happened to you, that happened to you, I'm so sorry. But let's be real, it's, it's happening to everyone. You know what I mean? Life is hard, life is not going to be easy. You can't keep using that excuse to why you're not becoming the person you want to be. It's time to get it together. Stop making excuses. You can't go to the gym, you can't work out because this, because that. You can't accomplish the goals you want because that happened to you and this happened to you and you don't have time. Make time. Nothing good comes easy. You have to put in the work. There are going to be a lot of times where you have to get out of your comfort zone. There's a lot of things that you have to do that you don't want to do, but let's be real. You're not where you want to be because you keep making excuses. You're not where you want to be because you're sitting now waiting for someone to hand you this life. Get up, put in the work, create a game plan, change your mindset because the life you want is on the other side of your excuses. The life you want is on the other side of your comfort zone because something no one has told you before, no one is in your way but you. Stop settling for good enough. How dare you? How dare you keep tolerating mess? How dare you not understand how valuable you are? How dare you not understand that you are one of God's creations? How dare you keep settling for good enough when you know you deserve more? How dare you? People are treating you the way they've been treating you because you've been allowing it. You better stop it. You got to remember that you are gold. You got to remember that you are one of one. There is no one on this planet like you. So you've got to start moving accordingly. Sis, God loves you. God adores you. God admires you. Why would you let someone treat you less than that? Access cards, start taking them away. Access cards, sis, bring, I've, I've been a big believer of you've got to, tr I'm not God. I am loving who loves me. I am focusing on who focuses on me. I am watering your grass if you're watering on my grass. I am not God. No way do I try to be. No way am I ever going to want to be. I am giving the energy to the people that are giving the energy back to me. I am focusing on who is focusing on me. I am loving who is loving me. Start revoking those access cards. Because if you're not coming into my life to help me become the best version of myself, if you're not motivating me, if you're not helping me thrive, if you're not good for my spirit, I'm not, you will never have access to me. I am not focusing on any, I don't tolerate mess. I know my worth, I know my value, I know how dope I am because God says so. So you gotta walk in every room that I'm in with that same energy. You gotta treat me accordingly or I need my access cards back. And you've got to start doing the same, sis. And that's where mindset change come in. Because when you know your value, when you know that you deserve gold, and you know that if you put your mind to it, you can achieve that, you know that you can get an amazing relationship, you know that you can have amazing friendships, you know that you can have that job that you want, you know that you can become that person that you want, you don't gotta settle. And you know God, you don't settle. 
Because why will I do that? The God that I trust moves mountains. The God that I trust walks on water and you think I'm going to settle for good enough? Stop settling with jobs. Stop settling with relationships. Stop settling anything, any parts in your life where you feel like you're not getting the best of the best. It's time. It's time to revoke those access cards and stop settling for good enough. Invest in yourself. Invest in your appearance. Sis, invest in yourself. How you look and how you carry yourself determines how the world looks at you and how they treat you. Some of you may have a lot going on. Some of you may have, you know, kids and a lot of responsibility. So you don't have enough time to pour back into yourself. But let me just say this. You can't pour from an empty cup. In order to take care of someone else, in order to be the best version of yourself for someone else, you need to make sure that you're taken care of. So take a day to pour back into yourself. Take a day to take care of your mental. Take a day to take care of your physical. To become the best version of yourself, you have to start playing the role. You have to start moving accordingly. You have to start taking care of yourself. Start taking care of your hair. Start taking care of your skin, your nails, the clothes you wear. I'm not saying you have to be fancy and spend a lot of money on your appearance, but you have to actually put in the effort. That stuff matters to the world. If you think you're going to walk in a room filled with opportunities, not looking the part, you lack confidence, you don't even speak well, you're not dressed the part, and you think you're gonna get that opportunity, sis, get it together, let's be realistic. It's time to start investing in your appearance. It's time you be mindful of what you put on before you get out there. It's time to start moving accordingly. There is no leveling up. There is no becoming the best version of yourself. If you lack confidence, you need to build confidence and how I've built my confidence has been through Christ has been through God. I move a certain way. I feel like I am untouchable. Like the confidence I have now is because I know my worth. It's because I know what I bring to the table. It's because I know who my foundation is and is God. And when you build a relationship with God and you have that relationship with God. You know how untouchable you are. So I can walk in any room and I can talk to anyone. I know that there's no one in this world that is better than me. So build your confidence through Christ and your life changes. This 2024, we're changing our lives. This 2024, we're changing our mindset. This 2024, we are revoking our access cards. This 2024, we are going to remember that we are not just anyone. We're God's people. And you've got to start moving accordingly. You've got to stop settling for good enough because you're gold. This 2024, we're going to stop making excuses and we're going to start showing up for ourselves. This 2024, we're building our confidence through Christ. This 2024 though, we're pouring back into ourselves. We're educating ourselves. We're being mindful of how we carry ourselves. This 2024 is going to be by far one of our best years yet. Sis, you're gold. You are gold. And I need you to remember that. No one else, that's nobody else's responsibility to know that you're gold, but you. You are one of God's creation. You are one of one. There is no woman on this earth like you. There is nobody on this earth like you. You are as dope as it gets, and I need you to always remember that. So walking into 2024, carry yourself accordingly. Don't just settle for good enough. Don't let people treat you just however they want to treat you. Remember who you are. Put in the work. Put in the work. Wake up every single day. Create a game plan and execute. Every single day you wake up, trust God. Give all of your problems, all of your worries to God, and trust that he's going to see you through. But sis, the work starts with you first. Change your mindset, believe in yourself, and remember that anything you want in this world, nothing is out of reach for you. And that, sis, is the end of this video. I thank you again for all the love. I thank you for all the support, and I am wishing all of us the best this year has to offer. If you have any questions, if you have any topics that you would like me to touch on, let me know in the comments below, and I can't wait to see you in the next video.